So some really bad news for P. Diddy. It is definitely over after this. Probably the worst news that he has received. Hey guys, it's Marag Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this absolute madness that is going on. Please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. So it looks like his former intel are turning against him. And when your intel are turning against you, it is game over. It appears that former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia Habtamadium has agreed to testify against Diddy in his lawsuit with Lil Rod. If you can recall, Lil Rod, who was a producer, filed a lawsuit in February accusing Diddy of air trafficking. In that same lawsuit, he also alleged that Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Corum, Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange and former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia Habsamadiam all worked together with Diddy in a RICO enterprise. Well, court documents presented by attorney Tyrone A. Blackburn, who is representing Lil Rod, has listed Ethiopia Habsamadiam now as a key witness due to an agreement she made with prosecution. Per the documents on March 21st, 2024, plaintiff entered into an agreement with defendant Ethiopia Habtamariam under this agreement in exchange for a declaration that she will be appended to the forthcoming amended complaint. The plaintiff has agreed to dismiss all claims against Habtamariam with, pre with prejudice because she is now working against Diddy. What does this mean? That means that they are dropping her from the lawsuit in exchange for a testimony against Diddy. Habtamariam also stated in court documents, I have personal knowledge of the facts set forth herein which are known by me to be true and correct. And if I called upon to testify as witness, I could and would competently testify there too. Lord, I will read it again for you. I have personal knowledge of the facts set forth herein, which are known by me to be true and correct. And if called upon to testify as witness, I could and would comp competently testify there too. Lerod's lawsuit against Diddy of forcing him to sleep with S workers, watching him shower naked, work with law enforcement to cover up crimes, groom him into invite-only parties and more. Diddy's homes were raided by Homeland Security as part of the investigation as we all sue. What is Habta Mariam going to provide? The fact that these people who were listed in these lawsuits that directly work with Diddy when it comes to RICO, when it comes to the freak offs, one of them has already turned. Does this mean that the other people listed are also going to turn? Because I reported yesterday that Christina's Instagram account, head of staff, she deleted that. Why would she do that? What is Habta Mariam going to say? Because we damn well know, once she saw her name on that lawsuit and it said RICO charges, uh-uh, I don't want no piece of that. So she's gone to go against Diddy, no information about him that is true and correct, that we don't even know about, that is extremely dark, and in, in return, she's been dismissed. This is why Diddy was trying to go get to Lil Rod and try to, you know, get his goons on Lil Rod to throw this case away, because this could be the finisher. This could be the finisher on this man. He's faced five to six lawsuits from Cassie's in November. And for the fact that somebody who has a significant amount of understanding and intel on Diddy, who is a senior staff member, has publicly declared in a lawsuit with court documents, legal documents, that she is going to be turning against Diddy and has significant large amount of information on him so that she can save herself is catastrophic. Absolutely madness. This is going to be a hurricane. Diddy is officially over. This is the worst update I genuinely believe that I'm putting up in regards to Diddy, the fact that his intel, his people who were directly involved in the freak off the Rico, all of them now are going to be following suit. Because if Habta Mariam successfully partnered up a deal where she can be dismissed from a lawsuit with the others who have their names on this lawsuit, would they not want the same? Would they not want to rat out on Diddy? Would they not want to save themselves? It's frustrating because she's also just as guilty, but this is how the legal world can work, where in order to get more information on the main culprit, you can slide off a few of the ones below him because you want to get the main piece of meat. Bon appetit. People are coming for Diddy in all different ways. And the fact that this is why I feel like this is the worst update, because it's confirmed that she is going to go against him and has significant information on him but it's also confirmed not confirmed but it's also going to be confirmed in my opinion that the other people listed are going to do the same because where is christina she's absolutely disappeared deleted her instagram entire information you you don't do stuff like this she's probably ready to do the same and is in cahoots with her lawyers 
with Lil Rod, who would have thunk it that Lil Rod came out with this lawsuit? He is alleging that he has been trafficked. We know that Cassie said the same thing. It's And we knew that when the men were gonna come out, it was gonna turn into something different as well. So it's a shame that unfortunately we need men because women are not enough in this world, but I'm glad that more people are speaking up and have the confidence in doing so. Now, what is she going to say? What is she gonna do against him? What What's gonna happen here? I don't know. I don't know. I, correct me if I'm wrong, as of right now, I don't know if criminal charges have been filed, but HSI, Homeland you know, Security Investigations, are far more high than the police. For HSI to do multiple raids on all of this man's home in the past 24 hours is insane as well. They are much more higher than the police, and for the fact that they are doing this raids is because they have something on him that we don't know about that can put this man in jail. That is what I believe. Are they going into those houses, raiding them to find information and protect others? Or are they going in there to find information on Diddy to put him in jail and behind bars? Absolute madness. What we do know now is that it's been confirmed that he has not left the United States. He's still in the US of A and he's still free to leave if he wishes to do so. Now his buddy buddy Russell Simmons I'm sure would be telling him if shit goes left come here, go to Camp Verde, go somewhere else, you know, and I think that he is ready to do so. However, it also looks like to me, which I find interesting, that Diddy is not leaving the United States. He's maintained his stay here, he's been cited, although he looks like he's panicking in Miami, going back and forth. The man is not leaving the United States. Why so? I don't know. Make of that what you will. It is interesting. Subscribe, click that button, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. Who would have thunk it, guys? We're back at it here again. You know, November, December, and early January, I was giving you guys Diddy updates 24-7 every single day. It was a madness for all of us. Who would have thunk it that we're right back here again, end of March, giving you guys endless updates on Diddy. These Diddy Nuggets are coming out in full swing because so much shit is going on. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali, my TikTok Murad Murali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.